Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another pick a card reading and today we are going to read what is your destiny and I need to be a little cautious here before I move on to start the reading so I need to make you also understand about this caution. Each one of us have a very unique destiny so don't worry about that right now because Somebody has said that I don't remember who is this person, uh, but uh, I do remember hearing this, that it's more important for us to be part of our collective destiny than our individual destiny. Both run in parallel, so individual destiny, I have to do an individual reading for you. I cannot help it. I really cannot do it without that. But collective de destiny, yes you will have a overview of your collective destiny through this reading so we have four piles here pile one pile two pile three and pile four while you are choosing your pile let's arrange the desk and start the reading with pile one so you have sacrifice you have throat chakra, you have temptations, you have totality, postponement and patience. And then uh, the oracle card is the edge of evolution feels messy. So the very first card when I opened it up, it gave me a very clear picture and then the oracle card had confirmed it to me that the edge of the evolution is messy first of all the sacrifice uh, card talks about a certain amount of delay somewhere so your destiny as a collective or you as a person in your society wherever you are your destiny is to help people to deal with their delays, to help them to release their stress with helping them to open up their throat chakra and speak. So you cannot uh, heal their throat chakra uh, unless until you are a healer by yourself. But if you are in your daily life, you need to help other people to express their emotions vocally that's your destiny because if you are fulfilling your collective destiny in turn you will fulfill your individual destiny so somewhere there is always a temptation for you uh, when you find a certain someone who is not able to express their emotions you feel that uh, you have that tendency to judge this person in a very royal way and because of that judgment you possibly push that person apart uh, from the whole project or whole system you uh, create a negative vibe around that person that person might not express it but it happens but i'm not blaming you for that we all do that it's not that i'm blaming you i'm just letting you know uh, what is your tendency rather than seeing the total picture you are seeing that uh, st stuck emotion stuck energy and uh, unknowingly you recognize that stuck energy and then you unknowingly also discourage that person to go ahead with something that they really aspire to do that on the other hand what is your destiny is to help that person to develop little more patience and express their thoughts and their emotions more willingly in a more f uh, free way because the whole process of creation uh, and manifesting something in life is not a straight line it is quite messy it might be a very zigzag thing uh, that's what this card is telling that the edge of the evolution is uh, feels messy so anything that you are trying to create is a messy sequence of events because at the end of the event or at, or end of the set of events you will definitely manifest what you want 
but then the whole process is not a linear thing so while you have to manifest what you want in life you have to help others manifest or at least express what they want to manifest you cannot help them to manifest because they have their own course of learning and actions but your destiny is to help them to release what is stuck inside their emotional body and they are not able to express it because that's where you will generate a good karma for yourself to start a new set of positive vibes for yourself and it creates a domino effect in your life because if something is stuck and now that one particular aspect of your life gets some positive karma or positive energy because you fulfill your collective destiny by helping someone to express their emotions to express their thoughts to express their desires or ambitions uh, will help you entirely in your life to move forward and actually manifest that one small aspect and that will create that positive energy a domino effect and will create a sequence of positivity in your life so that is something that you have to be very careful about and start working towards helping others to express what they want to express so that's your reading pile one please let me know if it resonated with you thank you so much for watching this video and until next time bye bye pile two this is your reading let's see what is your collective destiny heart chakra Financial material changes, transformation, master card, experience, the burden, the spark of hustle. So why are we reading your collective destiny? Because if you fulfill your collective destiny on one level, on the second... Uh, on the other hand you are fulfilling your individual destiny your uh, fulfilling your individual's desire your individual desires and ambitions so that's the whole reason why you should know about your collective destiny and your collective destiny is more about helping others to sort out their financial problems to transform them from a poor resourceless person to someone who is self-dependent and can arrange for their own finances and resources in their life to remove the burden from their shoulders it doesn't mean that you carry the burden for them or you do everything for them no no i'm not talking about that your destiny is to be a financial guru or uh, some a guru in a way or a mentor in a way you are enabling the person to learn how to arrange resources for themselves you are making uh, others independent by your guidance but you are not doing the whole thing for them there's a difference between you doing something for them and helping them or you make them do something for themselves and then they are finding the benefit out of it so there's a difference in that so your part is to help them realize that they are quite capable of finding the right path without losing their hopes and somewhere you have a knack of uh, or you have some kind of planetary alignment possibly somewhere to attract a certain kind of people who are always struggling to find resources in their life sometimes uh, like i know very well about what's there on my birth chart and i sometimes attract a series of uh, there was a time i still do this uh, or i st still have this pattern in my life that i would attract only those people who have to complain about a certain thing when i go and greet them good morning or something if i'm meeting a person they start complaining about something they won't even say good morning i somehow have these kind of friends all the time and i used to feel very demotivated that what am i doing why do i have these kind of friends and i at a certain point in life i 
somehow got so depressed with such friends around me that I realized that I possibly don't need anyone and stopped meeting everyone. And later when I got deep into astrology and tarot and all these divinations, I realized this is an opportunity for me and this is my destiny to cheer these people whenever they come with a problem. I, If I cannot solve their problem, I can give them some positivity. I can even uh, listen to them. I can just... Uh, lend them my shoulder to cry but the, there is a big possibility if you are doing the same thing like I learned it with experience that the, you act like a sponge you take a lot of negativity from them and that's where you start getting into the other side and you start becoming negative you start getting uh, depressive moments in your life you need to be very careful uh, that whatever their problem is, is their problem. If you have a solution, which in your case you might have solutions for them, just tell them the solution. After that, your duty is over and you let them transform with their own thoughts, with their own pro their own process, they because they have their own set of guardian angels who will keep guiding them and they'll keep bringing that person to you whenever they, the guardian agents know that you have a solution. But your duty as a person is stop there. You are a guru for them. You are a mentor for them. But you are not living their life. Be careful about that. So the oracle card here says that a spark of hustle. So there is a lot of hustle going on around you. And a lot of people are stuck in their own hustle and you are supposed to help them to come out of it. So you are a big transformer for these people and you need to help them to transform their life. That's your destiny. And in that process, you will transform your life for good and fulfill all the ambitions that you have in your life. So that's your reading. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. Please give me your feedback. Thank you so much. Bye bye and namaste. Hi everyone. If you have chosen pile 3, let's see what is your destiny. We have crown chakra. We have moving on. We have prosperity begins. We have mind. We have rebirth. We have, sorry for shaking the camera. We have adventure and your past supports your future. First of all, why are we going through this collective destiny? Because if you fulfill your collective destiny, you will in turn fulfill your individual destiny. Because if you are fulfilling your collective destiny universe is helping you to fulfill your ambitions and goals so the energies work in that way so what is your uh, destiny on a collective level your collective destiny is to balance out spirituality and materiality in your life and help others to do the same because a lot of people are stuck in their life that uh, either they can have a spiritual life or they can have a material life but for some reason you are the set of people who understand because of your past experiences which has shaped up your present and your future that you understand that if you are more spiritual you actually tend to attract material benefits in your life it doesn't go like two in two different directions the people who are messed up in their mind and they feel that uh, if one has to be spiritual they have to let go of all their material possessions or if one has to be uh, very much rich they really cannot be spiritual because they constantly have to cheat others or something like that you understand that it's not required to be either or they of course there are people who are very spiritual and very poor and they are 
very rich people who really don't understand spirituality and they cheat everyone all the time but for you you have an understanding that one can have both and in your mind you have that clarity and your duty as a collective uh, is to help others to get into a new journey where they can be both spiritual and rich materially rich and they have to let go of the old habits it's almost a new birth you are the person who is nursing them to have that new birth so that is your collective destiny because you will have that magnetic persona that you always aspire to have by nursing others to find their balance in their life and achieve something on a spiritual level and by which you will keep constantly growing on your spiritual level and needless to say that the more successful you are on your spiritual level uh, life you will attract richness and abundance in your life you really don't have to uh, struggle so much in your heart and your in your real life you don't have to put in a lot of hard work to actually attract all that abundance of course you will have to do your karma you will have to go and uh, sit in your office and do whatever you do for earning money but then you will realize that it would be a very easy process for you to generate success it's not a struggle and the people who envy you or people who have an evil eye over you will not be able to distract you or bother you so that is something that you will enjoy by nursing others to find their spiritual path so that's your reading pile 3 i hope this resonated with you please give me your feedback and let me know how things work out for you thank you so much until next time bye bye and namaste pile 4 this is your reading let's see what's your collective destiny we have power we have stand up on your ground we have harmony we have politics interesting card to be in a destiny reading and then we have courage we have morality and then we have change maker make waves so why are we reading your collective destiny the whole reason why we are reading your collective destiny is to understand what you should do on a collective level to find success in your individual life how you can fulfill your individual aspirations and ambitions how can you be successful because you need to fulfill certain thing in your collective society in your collective life wherever you function so you have very powerful cards i must say power politics courage and these two are same cards from different decks so i have a very strong understanding about what is your collective destiny first these are at two levels first at individual level you need to transform a little bit and then you need to help transform everyone else around you your collective destiny is to find out ways in which you can surrender your ego to the higher divine and stand on your ground because sometimes when you surrender your ego uh, and stand on your ground it's even more difficult because ego usually helps you to do something that you really are aspiring to do but then when you lose your ego and still stand on your ground then the problem is that you might fail in your attempts in whatever you are trying to aspire or whatever you are trying to achieve but still you stand up and you try it once more again you try it once more and that's when you find success and you create examples for others in the whole process there would be a lot of people who will get threatened of you because you don't give up easily right 
there's a lot of politics around you a lot of people who feel threatened around you because usually what happens is that you want to try something there are people who are jealous of you or against of you in your work life or wherever you are they will discourage you and you will give up normal people usually give up very easily you are not the person who will give up so your collective destiny is to fight with such kind of challenges and create examples by uh, repeating things again and again so it's actually uh, it's reminding me about uh, in lord vishnu lord vishnu is always encourages people to stand up on their two feet and keep trying what they want to achieve in life till they find harmony till they find love till they can stand for their own moral grounds in a very strong way because this politics which is going on around you and there are a lot of people who believe in politics around you Uh, by defaming others in a wrong way your destiny would be to set examples for them that things can work out in different ways and find that harmony so you are the change maker you would change things in your uh, society wherever you are how things have to be function in the right way in the morally correct way in a very courageous way so that people have more power rather than fear so you will generate that kind of understanding for yourself and for others so that's your destiny thank you so much for watching this video please share your comments if it resonated with you if something like that is already happening in your life i'll be very interested in reading all that thank you so much until next time bye bye and namaste